brand new book celebrates one of America's most iconic food pioneers with rare and never before seen photographs. France is a feast is a photographic journey of Paul and Julia Child's lives with more than 200 of Paul's photos while the couple lived in Paris from 1948 to 1954. Joining me now are the book's authors, Alex Prudhomme and Katie Pratt. It's good to have you both here. Thanks so much. Explain if you would each of you your relationship to the Child family. Well, the Childs moved to my hometown in the early 60s, so I met them when I was two years old, and my <laughs> family and the Childs were very close friends. Okay. Uh, and uh, Paul Child was my grand uncle. He was the twin brother of my grandfather, Charlie Got Child, it. so I was related to Julia through marriage, and I grew up with them, and they never had kids of their own. Uh, but they treated my sisters and me like surrogate grandchildren. How so, wonderful. And you must yeah. have eaten some great meals. I ate very many great <laughs> meals, and uh, I miss her still, you know, yeah. in the kitchen. Yeah. Um, how did the book come about? Well, having known Paul my whole life, and also having been a student of his, an art student, he gave me private lessons, I wanted to pay tribute to him and share his incredible photography with a larger audience because right. many people had not had a chance to see his work. And he took amazing photographs and these are from a period of time that we just haven't seen before, correct? So let's take a look at a kind of a slideshow of some of your favorites and tell us a little bit about these if you would. So that's the L'Ecole des Trois Gourmands which Julia translated Good thing as, you said it. as the school of the three hearty eaters. Oh. Uh, this was Julia and her friend Simca Beck and Louisette Bertolle. They had a little cooking school in the child's apartment in Paris. Look at that. Uh, How about this one? This is Montmartre, Sac Sacre-Cœur Montmartre in Paris, and it's a wonderful composition of balancing dark and high contrast on the left and a misty, romantic architecture on the right, so it's classic Paul Child. Yeah, otherworldly, Otherworldly, artistic. transports you. This is so, this may be my favorite of the group. And this is also um, one of my favorites. It's, uh, Paul loved to experiment with night photography and low light photography, so this, he went out to take this photograph of the, the fountain, and it's high, you know, high contrast again with the soft, luminous water and light and on the right, so it's a a lot of things going on. And remember, folks, this was around 1950 when we couldn't just fix every mistake. Correct. That we had and he didn't know what he'd shot because there was no phone to look right, at. Exactly. He had to wait to develop the picture. Do you remember so, that? When we'd yeah. send our pictures away and there might be one good one in there? This is a little picnic one? on their roof, Julia and her sister Dorothy, who she called Dort, and they would call this a roofnik. And <laughs> it was a frequent thing in the spring. They would go out on the roof and sunbathe and, um, and have a. A uh, croissant oh. or a baguette. Bring the party with them. Uh, that's Julia at work slash play, uh, having a little taste of her whipped cream that she's just made by hand. You oh, see that? Yeah, it makes you kind of hungry just looking at that. But that's so her, right? And you know, this is Julia before she became famous as Julia Child. This was Julia in the 50s when she was learning to cook. And that's one of the fun things about this book is it takes you behind the scenes uh, in their daily life. Uh, ultimately, photo. this book is a love story. Um, Paul and Julia's love of France and food and the people each and other. places, and most of all, each other. Yeah. But that's a wonderful couple's photo right there. And this looks like a scene from a movie. Don't it's you just want to just walk right in that set, scene? The child and her dog, and it just evokes a time and a place of the, in the 1950s, old Paris. That's Julia in repose in a little town uh, in Provence called Cassis. She's got her. Um, sandals on, she's staring out and contemplating, and so it's a lovely picture. She looks very athletic in that picture, was she? She was. She was yeah. very tall, right? This is one of our favorite pictures. This is... Uh, <laughs> That's Paul. me after the Sauvignon. <laughs> <laughs> Paul admired Julia's long legs, which he yeah. called her gams, and uh, <laughs> she liked the fact that he appreciated them. But it also works as a photograph, if you just look at it graphically, the the sort of triangle her legs make, the light, the dark, it's, it's a great picture. That's really quite amazing. And this is the last one. This Who is Paul guys? and his twin brother, Charlie, my oh, grandfather. Right. Um, and you can see I'm a chip off the old child yeah. block. Yeah. I look a little bit <laughs> like maybe the third twin. Um, and they, um, you know, they were identical twins, um, raised in Boston, uh, both spent a lot of time in France, were artists, uh, really interesting guys. They look very French there. We're going to get you a striped shirt and I need one, recreate clearly. them. <laughs> Thank you both so much. This Thank book you. makes a lovely Mother's Day gift, by the way. 
For people who uh, know that their yeah. moms are women and their lives are fans of Julia as I am. Alex and Katie will be at Elliott Bay Book Company tonight at 7 o'clock and a bonus for today's studio audience. Everybody's going home with a copy of France is a Feast. Oh. Thank you so much. And we'll be right back.